What's up with Mr. Breeze? Alex Smith makes a comeback and a whole bunch more on this edition of Sports Talk NFL Recap. has falsely claimed me for a, uh, something weird happening with YouTube, like they said that I was copyrighted and I really wasn't copyrighted and they told me that uh, I can go back live stream but I still can't since it's unavailable, there's no way for me to contact YouTube on this issue because I have such a smaller channel. If you guys have any advice on that down below or know what I really should do, please let me know because it will really help me out to know what I really need to do and how I need to address this situation going forward. And my other question is, if you guys don't have any advice for me, do you think I should have a separate channel called Sports Talk Live where I just go live and that's the channel where I do my live streams on. So let me know down in the comments down below. But if you have any device or know somebody that may or know someone on YouTube that could fix this or get me in contact with someone, please let me know. And besides that, let's get into today's video. Remember, comment down below. That's your quest for today. If the comments are turned off, don't worry. They will be turned back on. I mean, it's a matter of time before I fix it. So if you happen to click onto a video and you say comments are disqualified, don't worry. They'll be, they'll be turned back on. So we want to start with breaking, breaking news, breaking news of the day. Drew Brees may need some rest. Reported from NFL Network that the 41-year-old quarterback suffered a rib um, concussion con 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 in Sunday. That doesn't say concussion, by the way. In Sunday's win over the San Francisco 49ers, uh, he will undergo an MRI to see if there's any cardiac damage. Um, Tom Priestley reported that Saints are bracing for Brees to miss some time to fully hear for sources of the situation. Brees has also been dealing with an, with an injury to his throw and shoulder, which has limited his practice time in recent weeks. The results of the MRI will tell the full story, but it appears likely that Saints could sit their veteran QB for at least a game or two to let him recover. If Brees misses any contest, Sean Payton will return to Jameis Winston. Guys, let's talk about this. Um, breaking news of the day, he got hit. Drew Brees took himself out of the game. I mean, Drew Brees got hit. He just took himself out. He said, I'm hurt. I need to take a break. He takes himself out of the game, not like Drew Brees, unless he's very hurt. Uh, he's currently undergoing an MRI, and we will learn more about him when it becomes available and the information becomes available. Not good for the Saints. Not good for Saint fans. Uh, Drew Brees will ho hopefully be back and only miss one to two games. Good thing is their backup quarterback has some skill. And that's good. Um, but he also needs to understand there's a lot that goes into this. There is a lot of situations and a, a lot of stuff. And for Saints fans, they just need, they're holding their breath for a little while. Hoping that he's okay and hoping this MRI comes back into Saint fan favor. But looks like he has a problem with his ribs. I mean, he definitely got a few good hits in that game. The defense was up on him all game long. And this is no exception. This is one of the bigger hits, the larger hits. And it hit him right in the rib cage. So definitely feeling the pain this morning, Drew Brees is. But he's going to have to get through this. He's got to get through this to be able to make it any further in the in make it to the playoffs for his team he will and what also here in that a problem with his shoulder anything when you hear something with the shoulder could mean surgery it could mean out for the rest of the season so shoulder injuries always concern me but the fact that he continued to play through it means that he could be all right but you gotta always worry about that one as well shoulder injuries are always a problem no matter who you think or what you think they actually are shoulder injuries always cause some problems um, for players, surgeries, you know, you'll, you'll get them sometimes. And I think that this is important for Saints fans to look at. You're hearing two different stories here of the injuries. 
your, your rib cage, and then you hear a shoulder injury, he's getting an MRI, and if something shows up on his shoulder, it could be worse than that. I don't suspect that. I think if it was really that bad on the shoulder, he would have already been asked to go get another MRI, but a little problem with the rib. He's getting one today. Again, I had breaking news coming out. As I am recording this, I was expected to say, is he hurt or not? But he's definitely hurt. A rib, cardiac, thin. They're hoping he doesn't have cardiac, uh, anything wrong in there, like uh, any torn, because then they would have to go in for surgery as well. But it's unlikely that that is the case. But remember, keep your eyes on this story. Drew Brees, some cardiac issues potentially with his rib cage, um, some some flesh. It's basically fleshy stuff in there that the doctors are worried about. Could have gotten uh, fractured or could have gotten torn, and uh, they're just worried about that right now. So we're going to talk, of course, continue to talk about that as the day goes on and when the day continues. You know, it's it's going to be important to hope that Drew Brees and for Drew Brees' health and for Drew Brees' safety that um. Oh, that he is okay. Um, so, guys, Saints breaking news coming out from NFL.com. Um, yeah, so we will continue to follow the story. Stay tuned. Sports talk later in the week. Um, and we will always update with breaking news. Or go check out my Bleacher Report at Cam Stinson. If you don't have Bleacher Report app, go grab the Bleacher Report app. I will continue to update on Drew Brees' condition on my Bleacher Report. So go follow me there. Now let's go to Alex Smith. What a pretty interesting uh, thing this week. He made his another start. Congratulations to Alex Smith, one of the number one quarterbacks, and led his team to a pretty decent day. Alex Smith, of course, it's been 700, over 700 games since he's been in the NFL because of some injuries and you know, big problems. 17 surgeries he's needed. He's needed so much to get back to the professional level. And I mentioned a few videos back on an NFL recap. That's why you guys, you got You guys have to stay tuned with this series, or you're gonna miss all of this, these things that we do. So stay tuned with this this series. It's a very important thing, and um, you always need to stay with it and be here and know that. Hey, it, we're here, we're doing it, and we're ready for uh, it to happen. But um, the NFL, uh, knowing that he's always here, he, he has always been there. I mean, he hasn't left the team. He's, I mean, always competed at the highest level that he could. I mean, on fantasy points, he's one of the highest quarterbacks of the week. And he was the highest quarterback of the week Um in general, like one of the highest quarterbacks of the week um, and for the NFL. And Washington did end up falling to a loss by three points to the Lions, just a field goal. Oh, he was, but he had such a good game, I mean, and he's going to start for next week as well. Um, Washington, in all, is having a, a tough year. It's no, no, nothing against Washington fans, and I know I've been tough on Washington for quite some time. Just because they think that, you know, they are a good, they have been a decent football team the last few years. Just looked at in not a decent way. Like people think, oh, they're, they're just, the, Ra the Raiders have been bad and now Washington football team, you know, they're not, they're not terrible. I mean, nonetheless, they're not terrible. Washington, next week, Alex Smith, he has a date with the Bengals. It's actually going to be a tough game and a pretty exciting game, so if you guys want to watch it, watch it. These are two teams that are very evenly matched. And with Alex Smith coming out and performing, I think the Bengals fans need to worry just a tad bit more. Washington, of course, then will play the Cowboys, which they could really easily win. The Steelers, which is going to be a tough one for them to win because the Steelers are just on a roll. Then the 49ers is going to be another tough game. The Seahawks as well. Tough game, Panthers to Eagles could be a pretty decent game. And that's our last one on December 3rd. So you got to watch it, guys. We're nearing the end of the season, believe it or not. Like, we've passed the halfway point. The season's flying by. But Alex Smith has control of this team for a little while. And they're not going to make the playoffs, I don't think. But I think they have a way to go through the rest of the season and do it in a good way. Those of you that didn't watch the Cardinals-Bills game last night, you missed out on a pretty exciting thing. But those of you that haven't seen the replay of the final need to go take a look because it was such an exciting finale. Both teams went back and forth trying to win the game. The Bills ended up like taking the lead, 
but couldn't hold on to that lead for uh, some time. So it was like a back and forth craziness happening the whole game. And it's important to say this, that it was a very important game if you were in the if you were a Bills fan because they won this, they were continued to go in their lead. Miami continues to win, so it was an important game for them to win. And they just couldn't do it. The Cardinals score a touchdown, thirty two to thirty. They only needed the field goal to tie the game, then they would go to overtime. But you know what? Field goal's not enough for Kyler Murray. He threw it into the end zone. I didn't expect it. I don't think anyone expected that to happen. We haven't seen it in such a long time. Kyler Murray gets a snap. He throws it down. Big tall guy of DeAndre Hopkins able to jump over all the defenders, catch the ball, land two feet in the end zone. And, um, yeah, that was a very exciting thing to see because I think it was uh, awesome. It was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we love it, and I love to see it. So great play, and always worth mentioning that. DeAndre Hopkins getting that catch, and it's time to go to everyone's favorite segment. I hope it's everyone's favorite segment because, you know, it's definitely mine. Week 10 around the league. We start today on Thursday Night Football. The Colts and the Titans face off, and the Colts destroy them 34-17. Then we go to the first game on Sunday. It was a pretty... Light Sunday because the Masters were on. The Browns beat the Texans 10-7. to Washington versus the Lions. Alex Smith and his Washington team lose 30-27 to to the Lions. Buccaneers-Panthers, what a game we had. But the Panther, the Buccaneers end up blowing them out eventually. We thought could be close. No. Tom Brady throws like every receiver in the book. 46-23. Eagles-Giants, what a terrible game. Giants take it 27-17. jaguars Pan. Packers, Packers win it 24 to 20. Bills, Cardinals, what a finish! 32 to 30. The Cardinals take it, and the Bills get one of their first losses in a long time. Dolphins, Tua continues to show his power and continues to show how he could lead the Dolphins to a playoff spot this year. 29-21 is the final. Raiders, Broncos, Broncos lose 37 to 12 to the Raiders. Seahawks, Russell Wilson face off against the Rams, and the Rams will beat them. 23-16, Bengals, Steelers, Bengals will lose 36-10 to to the undefeated Steelers. Saints 49ers, Drew Brees leaves, and um, Winston and Hill will take over, but they'll still win 27-13. to Ravens, Patriots on the Sunday night showdown, the Patriots win 23-17 in a close, tight game, and I mean, what a, what a night and for Patriots fans, they continue to... They're showing that they can win. And tonight we have the Vikings versus the Bears. I'm going to give you my prediction real fast. I like the Bears tonight. The Bears have been playing good. Vikings haven't been really shown up lately. I really like the Bears to take it home tonight. So there you have it. First here, you hear what my prediction is. Thank you all for watching this video. Remember, your task's in the comments. I kind of explained it to you in the beginning, so scroll back to the beginning if you missed it. Guys, I really appreciate it if you would could do that for me. And also in the comments, let me know what you guys thought of today's event. Comment, comment, comment. The more you comment, the better it is. I can I know what you guys want for content, and I know what your opinions are. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I just looked at the recent analytics, and you know I've been updating it. 80% of you, it's now 85% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed, guys. You got to subscribe. It's updated to 15.5 of you have subscribed. So please do it. Continue to subscribe if you are watching these videos. It is vitally important. The more subscribers, the better the content. You see where we go here? The more subscribers, the better the content gets. And the more content we get, you know, we reach a thousand subscribers, we get to contact YouTube and try to fix this live stream problem. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you had a great day, and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. Peace out.